What's good, Ray Gang? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we are going to start a weekly vlog. Okay. And we're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. By now, y'all going to see the title. I don't even know why I was about to act like uh, it was, you know, a secret. Maybe I will. Maybe I will act like it's a secret and just say going on a trip. Weekend trip, weekend getaway in my caption or in my title. <laughs> Not me being annoying, but y'all will see very shortly, very, very shortly where I'm going. But I just want to show you guys my OOTD, my little basic boring airport outfit. Um, wearing all black and all three of my blacks don't match. How embarrassing. Don't really care though. I really was going for comfort and warmth today. So, um... <laughs> I have on a long sleeve bodysuit from Abercrombie & Fitch. Uh, FYI, anything that you guys see in my videos is always linked in the description box. Nice how that's time before you ask me a question of where something's from, where did I go, what did I do, da 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 It's in the description. If it's not, comment down below and I will link it for you. But, um, yeah, so that is the bodysuit. These... Leggings are from Airy. They are the V something, V waist leggings. I have on those like extra scrunchy long socks from Amazon and my Yeezy foam runners. Y'all know I always wear those when I travel. And then I have on this long as hell cardigan from Walmart that I've had for years. She's nice, she's cozy, she's thick. Yes, ladies, Walmart. This is not an ad. I wish it was. <laughs> now, let me stop, because I did just get a Walmart sponsorship a few weeks ago, so I'm grateful. But yeah, this is my fit. And then, y'all know, I always take my Marc Jacobs medium tote with me everywhere. So yeah, this is the airport fit. Real cute, real casual. Still kind of put together. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm comfortable. And I feel cute. Uh, and that's all that matters. So, let me get on out of here. It's already 8.50. My flight is at 10.30. I do have clear. But still, I just want to get over there so I can get some Chick-fil-A before I board. Because I am starving. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. I will see you guys at the airport, maybe, possibly. Uh, if I have some time. Oh, and by the way, if you are watching, because I understand, you guys, I understand my personality is very addicting. I get it. You watch one video, it's going to turn into five videos, it's going to turn into ten. Now you're waiting for the next upload. I get it, I get it. But do me a favor, please subscribe. If you are watching at home on your TV, perfectly fine. Just make a little fake account, <laughs> like make a little YouTube account, hit subscribe, and then continue watching me on your, you know, TV screen. That's fine. I have over 90, <laughs> was it? No, okay, I'm, I was about to cap. I think it's over 60% of the people that watch me are not subscribed. I love that I'm landing on new people's pages, but I need y'all to subscribe. Catch a vibe, join the gang. We're a big family over here. We would love to have you. Anyway, without further ado, let's go. Okay, we are touched down. <laughs> you guys, I came back home to see my, my parents in Columbus, Ohio. Nothing crazy. I'm very, if you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm pretty private when it comes to my family. Uh, I think that they are... I mean, I think they are extremely sacred to me and I don't like shoving a camera in my parents face occasionally you might you guys might see them but now it's a little bit harder to see them um, because I don't even see them as often obviously we FaceTime and, and talk on a daily basis but in person since I moved to Houston um, and they live in Ohio it's a bit hard to you know have them on camera because I'm not around them but I don't know. I just think family time is family time and I want to kind of keep it that way. But 
I will take you guys a little bit around, you know, where I grew up and things like that we do here in Ohio. <laughs> it's funny because um, I spent my childhood and like, you know, like my adolescent years here in Columbus. This is where I, my family, we pretty much grew, I grew up. Um, I was born in Nigeria, but pretty much was in Ohio for a majority of my life. First city that we actually ever lived in when we moved to the States was Houston, believe it or not. But I think I was only there until I was like four or five. And then we moved to Columbus. So majority of my memory from childhood is here in Columbus. Then I went to um, Cleveland. I went to Cleveland State, played basketball there. You know, did my undergrad, finished, moved to Toledo for PA school, and then I moved back to Cleveland when I got my job. So pretty much all I've lived in, um, especially in my like adult years, has been Ohio until I moved to Houston. Another reason why I was like, besides all the trauma <laughs> that happened, another big reason why I wanted to just get up and go because I was kind of like, I'm sick of the Midwest. I'm sick of this kind of slow pace life there's nothing wrong with it I think it's a beautiful place to raise a family but mindset is different the culture is different so yeah I am en route to one of my best friends uh, house she just moved so I'm gonna go see her we're gonna have like a I don't know what you would call it it's about 4 30 right now whether it's a late lunch or early dinner <laughs> but we're gonna eat together catch up for a couple hours and then I'm gonna come home. My mom is gonna help me take out this sew-in, and um, I'm going to detangle my hair. Probably will wash, even though it's gonna get washed again by Skyler tomorrow when I get my hair done. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned I'm going to drive to Cleveland tomorrow uh, to get my hair done by one of my good friends, Skyler. Um, she used to do my hair when I lived in Cleveland, and I'm like, uh-uh, ain't no way I'm coming out here and gonna be only two hours away from my hairstylist, I'm finna go get my hair done, period. I'll take you guys along for that. I always get questions on everything about my hair, which I think I've answered majority of the questions in the comments. So if you're ever wondering, look at the comment sections of my previous videos. Usually all your answers will be there, but um, I will go more in depth about like the treatments and stuff like that that I get done on my hair uh, tomorrow. But yeah, so... I don't know if I'm going to vlog when I get to Britt's house. Um, once again, I'm real finicky with putting a camera in people's face, especially in their home. Like, not everybody signed up for this YouTube life. I did. So, I try to stick to me, myself, and I. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, though, tonight's pretty much going to be just boring. Just chilling with my girl. Um, spending time with my, my mom and my dad when I get home probably watch a movie with my mom tonight while she does my hair because we always do that <laughs> and then um, I will see you guys for sure though bright and early tomorrow when we head to Cleveland because we're gonna stop we're gonna get our Starbucks we're gonna get a little bit of food in the morning and then yeah because we had a two-hour drive <laughs> that I'm dreading but it needs to happen and then I might meet some friends for a brunch situation before I head back tomorrow but we'll see all right, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Live from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Yes, I know I look crazy. I got my hair tied up and then the face is sitting. Goofy. Basically, y'all, it is 9.45. Um, I was supposed to be heading to Cleveland, like I told y'all, to get my hair done. But my homegirl texted me and said that she had an emergency, so she was going to come to Columbus to do my hair here. So, what's on my camera? So, honestly, that is a win. Win for me, because I don't have to travel. And, <laughs> let's be so for real. Because, not... It's snowing. This is exactly why I left. Because <laughs> I could not do this weather no more. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. It's so abnormal to see see snow. I haven't seen it in um, a year. 
and so it's really crazy but anyway i'm kind of sad because i was gonna see some pe some of my people in cleveland i don't know why i'm struggling to talk right now <laughs> i'm kind of sad because i was going to see some of my people in cleveland after my hair appointment but it's okay god knew whatever he was trying to protect me from and so yeah but i'm about to head to my friend Brittany's house that i went to yesterday and my friend sky that does my hair she's gonna meet us there and she's going to slay this hair so i will update y'all when the hair is done and then we'll see what we're gonna get in today i get into today i think that i just want to go to a coffee shop and just like edit for the rest of the day honestly um i'm gonna go see that new avatar movie with my parents tonight i'm excited at 7 p.m um but this weather is so just i don't know how people do it let, let me let me stop acting like a houstonian when i just moved six months ago <laughs> been doing this ohio shit my whole life but truly every year like people think just because you you live in ohio that you're used to it no baby every year it takes us by surprise every year you're never ready you're never ready for snow you're never ready for the the cold you it just happens and you just have to acclimate i'm in the starbucks drive through by the way i will show you guys what i get if you know what before i show y'all comment down below y'all if y'all know me what drink did i get what drink did i get comment down below and let me know because if you be paying attention from my past vlogs then you know what drink i got and then i got me a little sandwich so yeah Good, how are you? Pretty good. It's gonna be twelve twenty five for you. Okay. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, Have yep. a good one. Like, I should never be that indecisive. But, y'all know I had a, y'all know I had a double E. <laughs> I got the tall iced brown sugar. Go ahead and screenshot. This is phenomenal. It'll change your life. If you're a coffee drinker, you will love it. If you're just getting hip to the coffee game, baby it will be very much coffee tasting um but if you add the vanilla sweet cold foam that'll do it that'll do it so yeah and i got me a double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich i'm not new to this i'm true to this so anyway y'all i'm gonna gobble this up head over to britney's and i will show y'all maybe the process maybe not i don't know i don't know what type of mood this guy's gonna be in because she didn't sound too happy on the phone um and we probably she's probably gonna give me tea on the situation so maybe i won't record i don't know we, we'll see but nonetheless y'all will see me real soon with my hair whipped laid and slayed okay love y'all mm. Mm-hmm. Period. I love my hair. It's very staticky. My part is acting funny just because it's fresh. Skylar ate down on his hair. Oh, it looks so good, y'all. Like, so good. I am obsessed. Um, ignore the fact. It's not really, you know, style. We have, like, a very slight bump going on but um anyway she ate i don't even have my edges done or nothing and it's not really necessary now when i go out and like you know when i really want to be that girl then i will do my edges but otherwise i am so happy with it i really wanted to go short basically so dang i should have taken pictures she flat ironed my real hair and after okay so <laughs> i'm getting a little ahead of myself i'm about to text her and ask her what the name of the blowout um
the name of the blow uh, of the Brazilian blowout is, like the brand. I'm about to text her right now and ask her. Basically, it's a treatment. Some people refer to it as being similar to a keratin treatment. Um, I'm sorry, y'all gonna see me touching my hair a lot. I know that that can aggravate some people, but I just got my hair done and I don't care. <laughs> But um, it's a similar concept to a keratin treatment where basically um, the chemicals put on my hair are meant to like engulf the hair shaft and make it super sleek, super shiny and like more resistant to heat um, and humidity. So you won't see like my hair frizzing up too much, um, like especially in hot, humid as Texas. This is not frizz. This is static because my hair is so clean. But yeah. And so we just went for a very blunt cut. I love her. We have a couple of my front pieces that are short and damaged. And so I'm trying to grow them out. So I just had Skylar put in like, I think we have one, two, and three. Three tapes. Uh, uh, tapes what am I saying three clip-ins and I will also link the clip-ins that I um got below down below in the description box I got them off of Amazon the girlies be putting the girlies on on TikTok okay as much as I talk about don't follow trends and da da da, da um they really do be having some good recommendations so I found some really nice quality human hair Yes, human hair, not the synthetic business. Don't get me wrong, I did buy the synthetic ones too, just when I'm like lazy and I just want to add, you know, like some really voluminous hair in. But honestly, my hair thickness wasn't um, that bad. I have very fine hair, if you can't tell. Like my hair is very fine. It's very, very... How do I describe it? It's just fine. Like I don't know what else to say. It's super silky, super straight. Um when my hair gets dirty it will look very dead uh quick so I have to typically I wash my hair like probably like twice a week two to three times depending on what's going on but the nice thing is the Brazilian blowout pretty much makes my hair like wavy straight more so straight <laughs> so um washing blow drying and styling takes me all together probably an hour and a half and I can leave out the dough like it's really not long maybe even an hour very blessed I love when I get my hair done by Miss Skyler so the last time that, um, I hate when people walk so close to my car. So anyway, um, like I already kind of described what the treatment is and what it does. I, you typically, I remember when I first went to Sky, she had said, all I have, you only have to come like once, uh, uh, twice a year, like once every six months. So this most recent time, I stretched it six months. The last time I got my hair done by Sky and got my Brazilian touch up was July. It was right before my um, birthday of last year. So let's say it was like, I think it was July 5th or 6th, August, September, October, November, December, January. It has been exactly six months, um, a little bit over six months, actually, like six and a half, because it's not like January 6th. It's actually, today is the 22nd. So we're about to hit February. So I went about six and a half months, and y'all saw my hair, obviously, with the sewing in the last few of vlogs. Um, my hair has done pretty good. Granted, I did only, I do only leave out a certain amount, um, but still, with a good wash, um, condition, blowout routine, and a really good flat iron, you should be able to sell your hair pretty good. So, anyway, enough ranting. Basically, she went and touched up my roots to where it was, uh, you know, to the last time that I had gotten the treatment. And then, um, she washed, blow dried, and, um, trimmed no not trimmed cut my hair i made her she was like i am not i do not need to cut off that much girl i wanted it wanted her too so my hair was beyond the camera it was i would say it was about like right above boob length or so and i i had her cut from here up to here um i just like healthy looking hair i also like i said wanted to go shorter i want to get these little um struggling pieces to uh grow out and meet the rest of the hair and then i will maybe grow out my hair i'm gonna say in like a year <laughs> i will start growing it out but honestly i like 
medium medium length hair i love it i think that it makes me look a lot more mature i have a naturally youthful face is what i will say i guess i just look super young i always uh look very young in the face now the body is a different story okay <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I like medium length hair. I just think it fits me. It makes me look more mature and put together. But I will occasionally pop out with some extra long extensions, but I typically won't have them in for very long because it's kind of a hassle. But yeah, we have one clip in over here, another one over here, and one in the back. But all together, I mean, it just looks so yummy. Like, let's get into the cuts. Oof. The cut looks so good. So, I just pulled up to Target. I'm about to slide up in here. I really don't need nothing. I don't know why I'm like this. It's really sick for real. I did want to see if there was something as far as, like, hair that I wanted to, like, try out. Really just, like, protective, like, um, netting or something like that. But otherwise, I'm about to go home, take a little nap, because in a couple hours, it's 4.30 right now, um, my parents and I are going to go watch that uh, Black Panther movie, the Wakanda, Wakanda Forever, I think. And um, at 7 o'clock, I already bought our tickets, so I'm excited to see that with them, a little bit of bonding time, um, something that we can do to get out of the house together. Tomorrow will be a lot more exciting. Uh, we are going back home to Texas, thank God. I think I want to go to the gym tomorrow. I also want to, um, go to Sephora. I want to get that K18. If you've heard about K18, then you know. It's supposed to be better than Olaplex. Um, I actually just read an article on it when I pulled, when I parked because I was like, mm, Let's see, but I, I read some Vogue article basically saying that they're both really good, but Olaplex takes a, a little bit of a longer time to get the, um, you know, result to get the desired results uh, versus K18, you will see like results pretty much instantly. Um, Olaplex did really well on my hair. I just started to feel like besides, I think the number three, like the little bottle and like the oil and uh heat protectant the rest of it was like mid i didn't really care for it like i i could go without it but the number three is really that girl for olaplex i will say that as far as like hair health so i'm i'm just excited because i'm back to being able to just like manage my own hair i will see y'all at this movie because I'm really not finna be taking y'all into this Target because ain't nothing to buy. Unless I see something exciting. I'll bring y'all in there and turn it on if I see something exciting. But most likely I won't because... No, like truly, why am I even here? Like I really have to think about this. Why am I even here? Child, I'm going home. I'm, I'm, I'm going home. Am I? What is What could possibly be in Target that I need? Like, let's be so for real. Nothing. Like, not a thing. I'm gonna take a selfie. I need to. My dad just said, let's cancel the movie for tonight. I'm pissed. Ugh, I bought the tickets too already. Dang, I don't think I can return them. Making all the slipper and slider nose. Nope. Good night. Bye. And now I present to you Princess Shuri, the Black Panther. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I'm feeling very much Babiana. And I love it. But um, I got up this morning. Today is Monday. I got up this morning and I made my bre my parents breakfast. Um, I love doing stuff like that for them. Because I'm not around them often. So 
yeah, it made me feel really good. I'm actually en route to run some errands today. Um, first stop, I am going to breakfast with a friend. I feel so bad because he already ordered um, <laughs> my food and it came like, oh, I, I had told him I would be there um, around 1045. I didn't really mean at 1045. When I say around, that means give or take an extra five to 10 minutes. That's so bad, that's so bad. But um, <laughs> I am almost there. The good thing is I live, if you are familiar with the Columbus, Ohio area, um, I live all of like 10 minutes from Easton, which is where we're going um, to eat and so it's not too far but i still it's just i feel bad <laughs> anyhow i'll be there soon and then i will show you guys what i get to eat and we're gonna run some errands i remember the bomb airport or airport passport pictures that i took um we're going to finally send off the documentation so i can get my actual passport what else are we gonna do I need to go to Sephora. Remember the K18? I want to get that so I can try that out. I also want to get this like Laneige uh, lip stuff. Aaliyah was talking about it. And one thing about me, I don't know if y'all noticed, like I need something on my lips at all times. Like that one vlog when I was sick, I was watching it and I was cringing because my lips were so crusty dusty. And that's not me. That's not me. I'm a star. <laughs> Um, no, nah, because they finna piss me off. Why are y'all driving like this? Like, y'all don't know how to drive. It's 65 and you're going 54 and you are in a pickup truck. I'm about to get over on the semi. Like, y'all irritating. Like, dang. That's one thing I don't miss is people here, they be having nothing to do. So they be going on joy rides. Like, girl, get your butt off the road. Yeah. I was, I was, it was getting very much crusty dusty and I was so embarrassed, but like, that's the real rap raw. Like when you're sick, you really don't give a fuck. <laughs> and yeah, but she said it, uh, Aaliyah said it's really good, super moisturizing. Um, I use the sleep mask, but with the thing about the sleep mask, I'm not going to hold you. It's very moisturizing in the moment when it's on my lips, but then after it gives very much the opposite effect. Like I be feeling super dried out. So I'm hoping like the lip gloss balm whatever is like a little bit better than that. But anyway, I'm just in route to Easton, Easton Mall. So Easton Town Center um, is like one of like the major, major malls here in Ohio. People come from like other cities to come, like in Ohio to come to this mall. It's pretty nice. This and Polaris, but Polaris has kind of got a little hood. I'm not gonna lie. They've been breaking into, they've been having a lot of robberies at Polaris. Polaris, when I was growing up, used to be like the, that's the bougie mall. Um, Easton was always nice, but Polaris, you knew you was gonna get a Louis, uh, you know, maybe a, a little Gucci, a little Fendi or whatever. But now it's giving the opposite. Correct me if I'm wrong, my native Ohioans. Besides the point, I will see y'all when we get there because I feel so bad. I got this man waiting as he should. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I just finished up our breakfast. Uh, that food was fire. Let me make sure I don't eat nothing on my teeth. Okay, I don't. <laughs> just finished up. I'm about to, I think I want to go to Sephora um, and maybe Abercrombie. For sure Sephora though, and just grab those two things I was talking about earlier and then um, possibly just browse in, um, oh, while I'm here, I think I want to stop at both Journeys and um, Foot Locker, Champs, whatever, to see if they have the Uggs. Um, oh, you know what? I'm lying. I'm going to Nordstrom. I'm going to Nordstrom and I'm going to Sephora and those are the only two places I'm going. You heard it here first. Maybe I have a combo too. <laughs> this lady's watching me as I'm sitting here recording myself. But that's her right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Sephora. Sephora first, I think, and then Nordstrom. I'm walking into Sephora right now. 
They better not say nothing to me about me recording in here on everything. Hi, how are you? Oh, well, this stuff? Mom, I use the dream coat. I usually get the small one because it lasts for a while, but it's good. It's real good. Oh, I do see the lip stuff. Oh, I think it's out. Once it goes on TikTok, it's over. Ugh, that's annoying. Very annoying. Y'all, no, I did find them. So it's like this little mini hair mask. It's a bigger one for 75, but I'm gonna get the little one. I think I'm gonna try to peptide prep. So it's like, there's a clarify, um, like a deep one, which I need because it says it removes 95% of sebum. And I think I have seborrheic dermatitis because, um, yeah, <laughs> my scalp gets super oily very quickly. So I think I'm gonna get this. Okay, now you're doing too much. Just say bye. Love you. Y'all want to hear some fried stuff I just did? <laughs> I had my parents drop me off at the airport, go all the way here, just to leave my card holder that has my ID, my um, regular credit card, my business credit card, um, another gift card, and my, um, the parking spot, like, voucher thing that I need. If you're from Texas or Houston, then you know, um, they have this thing called the parking spot. I don't know if it's in other states, not sure, sure, but... Basically, you pull up, you park your car, and then you take a little trolley to the airport so that you can keep it there as many days as you need. Pay for it. But anyway, I had that little voucher thing all in my card holder, and I left it in the pocket of one of my mom's jackets at my house. <laughs> so, my poor parents had to Zoom home. My mom just called me and said that she got it, so it's 6.35 now. Um... It should, should, fingers crossed, take them about 20 minutes or less to get back here. That puts me at 6.55, and then my flight is going to start boarding at like 7.05. It takes off at 7.35, though, so I have time, but I wanted to get in there and get me a Donato's pizza, because if you know, you know, period. And then um, go home, or yeah, like get, get on my flight and just be in peace, because I have not eaten since y'all saw me eat earlier at... Um, North Star Cafe. So I'm starving. My mom's called me. Hello? Hello? I don't know why I can't hear you. They are on their way back. I, my dad was pissed. He was like, are you serious? But the people here at the Columbus Airport, they're so sweet. I mean, that's just Ohio nature. Um, at least Columbus nature. They had let me check my bag still because I was like, girl, we know it's you. <laughs> so my bag is already through. Thank God. Um, I have clear. Clear is still here. Actually, speaking of clear, one of the beautiful clear, um, what would you call them, workers? I had spoken to her like, do I need my ID? Like, can I just have my parents like mail it to me? And she's like, no, like that's the whole purpose of clear. You don't need your ID. I was like, okay, cool. But then my parents were like, no, just stay. I want you to just have it so we don't have to mail it just in case you need it. Cause I do have a layover in Nashville. And I was like, you know what? Y'all are smart. This is a sign from God. Let me just wait and I have time. So anyway, um, I sat down and I've been sitting here for like maybe like 15, 20 minutes. And she came up and she goes, is your name Desi? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, I just watched your, your vlog on YouTube. Like, 
y'all know me I love that and I love that she came and introduced herself um, she was so sweet so cute that just made my whole day she was like I've been wanting to move to Houston and watching her vlog really gave me some you know motivation and that, that made me really happy so anyways child sitting here waiting for this damn card holder and then we finna go through this gate and hopefully have enough time to May get the Nottos. The terminal, okay. The transportation. Say hi, guys. She came back. Hey, I have more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them like your name, your at, or whatever. My I'm name is Skyler. My Instagram is I am Sky Marie, Ooh. and I will be joining Houston soon. Period. 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 <laughs> so yeah. All right. I just wanted you guys to meet her. <laughs> I just put my hair into a little bun. Look at how, uh, little, little pony. Look at how small my little nub of a pony is. But I think it's so cute. And it's just crazy to see, like, my head looks so small. <laughs> it looks so small. But it's just, you know, when you ain't got all them tracks up under here, girl. But it looks so good. Like, it's so shiny. I love getting my Brazilian blowouts, period. Stiff wear. So I want to show you guys all the stuff that I brought back home with me. So, and this will kind of give me a chance to unpack a little bit. So I just got home and I got my meal prep delivered to my house, which I'm happy about. I reached out to her. I normally just pick it up from her house, um, but I reached out to her and I was like, hey, like, do you mind dropping this stuff off um, because I am going to be flying and I don't know when I'm going to be back. So she's like, yeah, so let's see what the meals are this week. Ooh, we have a Tex-Mex sweet potato skillet. I love cilantro. I'm scared it's gonna fall. Yum. We have, ooh, I love when she makes the soups. I have a Greek lemon chicken soup. Yum. I have a Asian beef and broccoli. I just love it because she makes these so good, but they're also so healthy. Hope you guys can see that. <laughs> and then lastly, we have salmon patties and garden salad. Yeah, that's, that's a real good lunch. I used to love tuna cakes. When I was in college, because they were easy to make and they're good for you, but like, ooh, yeah. Yum. So, that's these week's meal prep. So, I probably have the salmon patties um, meal and the soup for my lunches and then the other two for dinner. So, that is not too shabby. And then in the morning, I'll just like pick which meals I'm gonna go, for, go with for the day. So there's that. Now, <laughs> my lovely parents, I'll show you guys. They're so smart and they pack food <laughs> in this thermal tote and I just put it in the bottom of my suitcase. And literally, nothing spilled. Oh, it looks great. Oh, it's worked out beautifully. So they packed. <laughs> so I'll show you guys. I love my parents. Oh my God, they're so thoughtful. Ah, so grateful for them. Mm. 
meat pie. It just gets me so sad. Like, I love them. They're so thoughtful. And then these are a bunch of like sauces, like spaghetti sauce, stew, and they put them in Ziploc bags. And then when um, they're all frozen and whenever I want to unthaw them, I will just put it in a Tupperware and once it melts, I'll just spill it out and dump it into the Tupperware. Hack. This is a Mama Liz hack. My mom and a Papa OG, my dad, <laughs> they came up with this and it's so smart. Look. The sauces are completely frozen. I'm so grateful for them. <laughs> I'm so grateful. So, there's that. Let me just text them and just say thank you. And that everything came beautifully. Nothing busted. Nothing broke. <sighs> So yeah, um, I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. So I love when my mom makes meat pie. Actually, I don't know if she made this batch or if she ordered it from um, one of her best friends that makes them all the time. Um, like she has a business, like she makes them. All you do, I just take it out of the freezer in the morning I put it in the oven for like 12 minutes and it tastes fresh, it's so good. So it's nice with um, like to have like as like, depending on where you're from, like, um, I know a lot of like European countries will have like morning pastries, um, but this is like you can eat this any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, whatever, so. And so now I'll just fold this stuff back up, put it back in this freezer bag, and next time I go home, <laughs> we'll do it again. And yeah. I'll try to link this bag down below. I want to say that they may have gotten it from Sam's, either Sam's or Amazon, but either way, I'm sure you can get them from Amazon. It's a thermal tote. Um, it says still ice after two days. Like it really did keep the stuff frozen. That's that tag. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, I can only pray that I am half of as good as a parent as my parents when I have children. Like, they're just such good parents. And I remember, like, it makes me, it makes me sad because I remember when I was younger, just being so frustrated and so irritated when, like, they wouldn't let me do things because I, like, I wanted to be like everybody else and I wanted to fit in and um, and I'm so glad that they protected me from certain things um, and I truly had a innocent childhood and I truly was able to grow up and develop in the timing that I was supposed to instead of rushing it because I really don't think that I would be half as successful as I am without my parents like their guidance they're just They're just such great people. Like, they have done so much for me. They have done so much for my friends. They're just so selfless. Like, if, if one of my friends today, God forbid, was like, I was evicted, I don't have anything, my parents would take them in. Like, no questions asked, period. Like, they have actually done that for other family members, like taken in nieces and nephews or cousins, like, for a period of time until they could get back on their feet. Like, I love them. They're just such good people, I love them. Okay, next. So, you guys know I went to Sephora earlier. So I wanna show y'all, oh no. None of this better have spilled or I'm gonna have a whole conniption. So I wanna show y'all what I got. Remember, I was going in there for the, that K-18, so I got the K-18 
Biomimetic Hair Science Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. So I think I showed y'all about this in the store, but this is what it says. It says, K18 Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. This detox is primed for cleanup duty. Powered by an optimized list of intentional ingredients, this clarifying cleanser works to exfoliate and clear excess buildup, oil, and residue on scalp and hair fibers to promote a healthier environment. Bonus, by removing excess blockage, the hair environment is prepped for the K18 peptide molecular repair to penetrate most effectively. It says it's pH optimized, color safe, and there are minimal ingredients. And the ingredient list is kind of short. It's right here. So the anti. Okay, it says how to use. Swap out your regular shampoo for this power wash one time weekly. Massage into hair plus scalp to remove excess buildup. Thoroughly rinse. Re repeat as needed. So I've been told two shampoos um, is what you should always do. I think the, fo the first one is focusing primarily on the roots and then the second one is like root and ends um so yeah i need this desperately like desperately okay so my hair looks really good really shiny but just from me working out today earlier um i can already tell that it's greasy and it's way down like when i told y'all my hair is fine it's so fine if I sweat once, if I work out once, like I have two days, like basically I have, when I get my hair done, that very first day that it's done, that is when it's obviously clearly the cleanest, the freshest. I can wear it down that first day and then I can wear it down that second day. Come day three, it already starts to look a little way down in the root area, but if I don't work out, I can get, get away with wearing it down one more time. By day four, no more wearing it down. I have to for sure wear it up. And um, I will most likely wash it on day four. So I, like I said, will wash my hair about twice a week. Um, now, if we're adding workouts in the mix, into the mix, typically what I will do is I will wash my hair the night of my, or the night before a rest day or a series of, you know, two rest days in a row. So let's say um, I worked out today and I'm gonna work out tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I will wash my hair tomorrow night after that workout, and then it'll be clean, fresh for Wednesday, which is gonna be my rest day. And then, um, so I will wear it down Wednesday. That will be day one hair. Even though I did it on day t on Tuesday, we'll consider Wednesday as my day one. And then Thursday, if I work out, I will still during the day wear my hair down day two but then after I sweat I do always use a sweatband when I work out and I tie it pretty tight with like a satin scrunchie um, just so that you know I can keep my roots straight and then once it cools I'll take it off um, and it works like a charm obviously too the Brazilian blowout makes my hair straight so and like resist humidity moisture so it's also the treatment day so wednesday thursday basically i can wear my hair down but then come friday the day after i work out on thursday um my hair will probably have to go up in a ponytail bun whatever for work and then um friday i'll most likely work out and then i will wash it friday night or saturday depending on what type of schedule I have. If I'm going out on the weekend, obviously I'll wash it Friday night so it's fresh for the weekend. But you guys get my drift. So usually my hair will, I will get about three days out of my hair before I need to wash it. And that's my own preference just because I don't want to wear a slick back every single day. <laughs> um, if I do choose to do that, because sometimes I am lazy, I'll be honest then I will um, just leave it greasy for like four or five days and then wash it. But either way, ooh, either way, this shampoo is gonna come in handy. It says to use it once a week, so I think I will use this every other wash. Um, I'll use this like tomorrow, and then in three days, I'll use my um, regular shampoo that I use, and then three days later after that, I will use the K18 shampoo again. 
Now, the star of the show, this is the Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. This is what's been going viral. The whole line's been going viral, but this specifically, it says it reverses hair damage in four minutes. I went on TikTok because you know the TikTok girls are going to show you what's tea. They're going to demonstrate and they're going to put you on. And honestly, I watched it be like done. And the girls weren't lying. Like it's really transforming the girl's hair. So looks like this I got the smaller size because a I've never used it before I'm not finna spend 70 I think it was $72 for the big size um, and I heard you only need like the tiniest amount of this like one to two pumps and y'all know I have fine ass hair so I, I probably only need one little pump of that so that's what I got the thing that is like tripping me up about this is it's saying that it's a leave-in so you're supposed to shampoo your hair people are recommending to shampoo twice and then don't condition towel dry and then work this into your hair and don't rinse it out and then just style it like i find that so strange but we're gonna do it because your girl has serious hair damage <laughs> i know it doesn't really look like it but my hair like obviously um since I got it, like my treatment and my trim and everything, it's a lot healthier, but it's still, yeah, it needs, it, it needs some work. That's what I get for doing two back-to-back sew-ins with no maintenance in between. I just don't have the, the hair type for that to withstand that. Like I need to have my hair out a few weeks before I go into another protective style. It just, my hair's fine, period. This says use for the next four to six washes and then every three to four washes as needed. So they're saying basically I should build up my tolerance and use it, you know, like four times in a row every time I wash my hair. And then after that, use it every three washes. So every other week. So period. Woo. I'm excited to try that. So now I also got, I told y'all, Aaliyah had talked about these Laneige Lip Glowy Balms. Now they did not have the pink, they didn't have anything in stock besides this last one. This is the Gummy Bear, uh, what do you want to call it? Scent flavor, whatever, it's the purple one. So this is a first impression. I have not tried it and I swear this might not have been used or I'm gonna turn up. Okay, it doesn't feel used. Mm, doesn't look used. All right, wipe my Aquaphor off. I'll squeeze some out. Ooh, look. It like pushes out. Mm. Mm. Mmm, it smells really good. Mmm. It feels really moisturizing. Mm-hmm. I like that. Is this going to be a thumbnail? That? I like. So we're going to keep her. Impressed, impressed. Liked it a lot. Last but not least from Sephora, I got the One Size Beauty um, On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I've never used it before, so I decided to pick up the travel size because I'm like, A, I've never used it before, let me get the smaller size, and B, um, if I like it, it's perfect because I can take it to go. And it's giving aerosol. Okay, yeah. Packaging is stunning. Okay, Patrick Star. Love that. All right, so that's everything I got from Sephora. Now just a couple other things that I got like on like my trip back home. So I went to the hair store. I typically always use the Edge Booster Edge Control. 
um edge control is not good for your edges like over time like it can rip them out especially if you're putting globs and globs and globs of it on blah 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 blah. i really don't care my shit be growing back <laughs> but i also decided to get this edge fixer try it out never try it out they were both a couple bucks so i was just like let me just grab a couple to try it out i got one of these og hairbrushes if you know that you know this is gonna be for my slick backs you know like oh yes i love these now the wet brush i got a re-up on two so i've already had this one before this is like the standard wet brush i don't know what it is and maybe it's just the delusion in my head but like these brushes really are that girl like i like these more than the denman brush natural hair community do not come for me but please like please <laughs> but i don't know i just really like these brushes i will link both of them down below these are two different styles this one has some bristles inside um it has these regular prongs but then also bristles inside and it's supposed to um make your hair shiny when you brush it i wanted this because i'm like I feel like when it comes to wrapping your hair at night, it's perfect because it has the bristles and like the regular brush. Um, also slicking it into ponytails um, when your hair is clean and you don't want to put any gel in it like you would typically with this or hairspray. I feel like that's a good brush. And then this is just a standard detangler wash your hair type of brush. So I got two new brushes. And I think that's all I got new. Oh. My aunt, I got a couple, uh, picked a couple of my Christmas gifts up. There were a lot of gift cards and stuff, but my aunt had given me this Vince Camuto um, fragrance set. So it came with a regular size fragrance. I came with a regular size fragrance, a travel, and then the matching lotion. I left the lotion at my house by accident, um, as well as the travel size, but I made sure to put this into my carry-on. It smells really good. This is the scent Floral. And I'm typically not a floral girl. But this smells really good. It smells fresh. Like, I feel like I would wear this. Mm. I feel like I would wear this either fresh out of a shower just to go to sleep in or, um, you know, like a little late night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I feel like that's a, it's the perfect. It, it's like floral, but like sweet at the same time. It's like a sweet floral. I like it. Very fresh, very feminine. Yeah, so we'll add this to my little fragrance collection. And I think that's it, y'all. Oh. So, y'all, I have another sponsorship coming up. And I'm excited because I'm going to start using this stuff tomorrow. Like, so. Let's open this box together. I'm excited, too, because this sponsorship is only stories, which I love because it's like, I don't have to do too much. <laughs> Y'all, I just opened up this box and I did not expect to see this much stuff in here. So let's go through it. I'm so excited. So I am working with Live Pure. They are basically just an all around um, type of wellness company. Okay, so. I'm so excited. I love when I get sponsorships like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but like, I really only take sponsorships that align with what I would want to use anyway, or what I currently already use. This was just so spot on because I use this already. Um, y'all know after a long day of Sunday fun day, after you outside getting lit, after God knows what, you're sick and you need you some hydration. So these are like the liquid 
hydration sticks. So I got three different flavors, which I'm so geeked about, like period. Each pack comes with 15. So I got an orange, a fruit punch, and a cool cherry. Love that for me. Um, one stick absorbs fluids two to three times faster than water. I love this. And they come with amino acids in them. I'm just so grateful. I'm just, I'm grateful. So yeah, um, I'm going to open up. Let's do this fruit punch. Now let's do the cool chair. I'll probably have the cool chair tomorrow at my job. So they look like this. And I probably would have one of these a day. They are gluten-free, no artificial flavors, soy-free, dairy-free, and vegan. As you guys see, like, I'm not even doing the sponsorship yet, and I'm already going to try this stuff. Like, um, I have tried these before, just not this brand, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to mention a competitive brand because that defeats the whole purpose. Um, I want to promote them. And no, they did not pay for a YouTube promo, but it's just like, I'm going to promote people that f with me period so i already know this is about to hit i already saw a few other um mutuals other content creators that promoted them so i feel like they must be really good so i will keep you updated when i see you guys later on this week on how i like it i'm gonna clean this stuff up put this stuff away it's already one in the morning and i need to be up at seven like seven seven thirty for work so yeah I will see you guys later this week. I work the next three days in a row, um, but then I think I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So we'll we'll get up to something this weekend. Maybe a little self care date. All right. I love you. I will see you later. Hi. Good morning. So I am heading to a consultation for a laser appointment. One of my amazing cyber friends. <laughs> I still not met her in real life, but that's like my big sis. Her name is Oni. Sincerely Oni, if you don't know her, she's also a PA on Instagram and TikTok. She referred me and I am going to my first consultation this morning for eight free sessions of my armpits. Eight free sessions? Like, you're kidding. I don't know if they're going to count four and four or eight for both, but yeah, I'm excited. So... Let's do the before. This is what it's looking like. They look good, don't get me wrong, but they could be a little lighter. Um, I'm not tripping. I have been using the ordinary uh, glycolic like toner for like consistently, I would say for like the last month. <laughs> but I've used it on and off for the last few months and I have noticed a difference also. My deodorant is the um, Necessaire AHA BHA deodorant. Chef's kiss, it's amazing. So anyway. Guys, I can't believe my pony is so short. I haven't had short hair in so long, but I just have my hair parted and slicked back into a nice little pony. And then I have this two-piece, like, sweatsuit situation from Zara. It's very old. I really pray that y'all cannot see my nipples. I hope not. Anyway, we're all girls here, for the most part. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have this two-piece Zara set on. I'm going to cover up just in case you can't see my nipples. And then this windbreaker is from Woman's Best back when I used to work with them like over a year ago. And then I just have these Yeezy, I forget what they're called. And I'm going to wear, it's an all cream moment. I'm going to wear this little Burberry pochette bag, you know, just a cute little dainty. And we're out the house. It's a little chilly today in Houston. It's like 55. So that's why I'm like fully clothed. Because y'all know we had his hell down here. But um, yeah. So I just got my water. And then I'm toasting a bagel to take with me on the go. I already pre-asked them if it's okay if I can record. They said yes. So I'm going to bring y'all with me. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's go to our laser equipment. My skin, by the way. <laughs> like 
Are we gagging? Are we gagging? We should be gagging. I know that like it's a sponsorship and I know people how they feel about sponsorship. Eh, you just can't pay to say this. No, no bullshit. Those live pure hydration packets, baby. They've been having my skin. Okay, let me let me get close. This is like no filter. Cause you know the Sony ZV1 be giving you like a slight filter. This is no filter. Get into my skin. I have a lot of moles, by the way, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can have like before and after pictures. We okay. After, um, we do it for every session that we do, just to keep track of your like hair growth or hair reduction. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of test spots just to kind of gauge your tolerance of the laser. Okay. Um, I would describe it feeling that like the sensation, like feeling like a rubber band popping on the skin. Oh. Uh, it's more of a discomfort than a painful feeling. But okay. the, this machine has like a cooling agent called Pryogen, okay. so it kind of helps like suppress the heat. Okay. Um, but we have baby wipes, we have ice packs that kind of help. And you're more than welcome to put like a numbing solution on yeah. before coming in. Okay, yeah. I should have done that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hi guys. <laughs> um, she's gonna do my laser appointment. What's your name again? Uh, Imani. Imani, okay. I'm gonna take off my check. If I think of it, I will ask you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna take a picture of your hands. And they're completely shaved too? Yes. So you're going to come every six to eight weeks. Okay. Um, so with the free uh, trial, it's going to be eight sessions. I do recommend doing the full 12 just because you'll get optimal results. Okay. Um, scientifically, just based on how like the hair cycle grows, okay. um, which is like every 28 days, you would want to get the 12. And it comes with a lifetime touch-ups too. Okay. But it's totally up to you. We have okay. to see and try it out. That's why we like to do the eight free sessions okay. with our clients. Um, Get a taste of it. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple of test pulses, and then I'm gonna ask you out of one through five how it feels. Okay. Uh, one being that you can barely feel it, and five being unbearable. Okay. Now I know what my question was. Okay. Is this the laser for like dark skin? Yes. Okay. That's yes. why. So I this. Okay. Uh, this particular laser carries. Uh, this particular machine carries two different lasers. Okay. And so the laser that's compatible with like our skin type uh -huh. is the YAG. Okay. And so you want to make sure anywhere you go that you. You're on the yagging sheet, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely safe. I've done my whole body with this laser. Okay. It won't affect anything if I'm on my phone, right? No. Okay. Alright, and then uh, you have any deodorant in the room, right? Um, shoot, a little bit. Okay, I mean, I'll wipe it down. It's like the uh, roll-on, so it's not okay. as thick as I thought. Okay, I went through 500 that feel. I want to be that you can barely feel it. I've been unbearable. Like one. A one? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to turn it one more time. Oh, God. <laughs> Just because I do want you to feel something, but I don't want you to be in, like, you know, excruciating. The very last one I felt a little bit, but it wasn't Yeah. Bad. Okay. So anytime um, you feel it, that uh, like, a little more snappier, that may mean that there's, like, hair that's present that's a little longer. Oh, really? Um, and so that's why you want to get your shave as close as possible. Um, but it won't make or break your, your treatment as long as it's not too long. Okay. Sometimes you'll smell like a burning sensation. Yeah. And that's called a uh, plume. It just means burning hair. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this up. It's not bad. Now, you may notice a difference, most people do, some people don't. Um, if you notice, the left side may feel a little snappier, and if you do feel the difference, it has to do with being close to the heart. Okay, my dear, we're all done. Whoa, 
that was so fast. Yeah, it goes by yeah. super quick. Would you like any uh, aloe to kind of cool down the uh, underarms? Yeah, it just helps like soothe it. And yeah. if you feel like any itchiness, we can put like hydrocortisone and stuff. Um, and this always uh, have tea, but that's pretty much it. What numbing cream do you recommend? So um, you would put on lidocaine if you ever feel like a, um, you can't tolerate the laser at all. Okay. Um, just make sure if you do put a numbing solution on, um, that you have it on the skin for at least an hour because anything under that, it won't be an effective, right? When it's like kind of seeing the skin. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. I want you to, uh, yeah, I was like, I want you to ask some other questions. When should, like, will I need to shave again? Yeah. So you want to, sh so you can shave as little as often as you like in between your sessions. Um, I will say, um, I would keep shaving down to a minimum uh, during your between your sessions. You're gonna exfoliate, and that's actually gonna help twist off the hairs. And your hair will actually start to purge the next couple of weeks. It happens for most people. Some people don't experience purging, but most people do. Um, so that's why you do want to exfoliate at least like two to three times a week. I'm doing manual or chemical exfoliation. I like to do both because with chemical, it's gonna help with the actual like, hyperpigmentation, the overall texture. Um, and like any ingrown hair, the discoloration, and then um, manual exfoliation is just gonna help like loosen up the hairs and the texture as well. Um, as long as you're shaved right before the appointment, that's all that matters. I mean, you can shave a couple hours before, you can shave the day before. Um, so that's totally up to you how often you wanna shave. Just no waxing, tweezing, or pu uh, plucking, or any type of epilation, because uh, when you do that, it makes the treatment ineffective, because if there's no hair at all in the shafts, then, um, it's not gonna do anything. It's like shooting at nothing. Okay. Oh, this was guys. She was great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come see her. This is called Semper Laser. Yeah, Semper. In um, MKT, the Heights, y'all, mm -hmm. amazing. The Crested busted y'all, but you know. <laughs> um, for the next twenty four hours, just no, uh, no excessive sweating or extremely hot showers. You can take a warm shower. It just can't be extremely hot because that internal heat will cause inflammation to arise and just irritate the skin. Okay. Um, and then that's just the same with working out. If you're gonna work out, do a super light workout. And then okay. just make sure you bring some baby wipes to kind of wipe down the sebum and sweat. Okay. Um, no deodorant for 24 hours. Really, you'll be okay by the next morning. And if you just absolutely have to put on de deodorant today, um, at least give it a couple hours to let your follicles breathe. And then um, put like some natural deodorant because regular deodorant and aluminum can irritate the skin. Okay. And then just no uh, over sun exposure, uh, no new medications, and no light tan for the next uh, week. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yay. Okay, and then I just need you to sign your treatment log, so you're going to put your uh, first and last name. Oh, I like this. I need to get an iPad. I know. I <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the TikTok about people with iPads are successful, but yes, I, swear, I believe it. Yeah. And then you're going to be with Miss Ashley and she'll just go over your contract and any other like pricing questions you have. Okay, and then, well, is that where I, you said six weeks, right? Yeah, you'll do That's it uh, right after. I don't know why I thought it yeah. was like sooner than that. It is. Jeez. Some places do four to six weeks, some work at places like that. Um, we do six to eight weeks because it fits under the umbrella of all the body parts. Because some okay. body parts are six to eight weeks, yeah. some are four to six, some are eight to ten. That so we just sense. do it all the uh, eight. all the time. Okay. Um, and then will I have you every time? <laughs> yeah, you can. You just have to re uh, request. request. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate, appreciate it. You were great. Yeah. So y'all, we just finished up. I had such an amazing experience for one. The entire staff was black, including the owner. Love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, if you like didn't catch it earlier, I was at Semper Laser here in Houston, Texas. I was at the Houston Heights location here in MKT. Um, it is literally right there. It's right across from La La Land and Sweet Green. It's right there the service 10 out of 10 the vibes 10 out of 10 they were just so kind so thorough like y'all know me <laughs> i'm gonna ask questions <laughs> and they answered every single question um they were so kind and said that i can let y'all know 
if you share my name desi they will also take care of you the same way that my girl Ongi got me a nice little referral they will take care of you and you know hook the girlies up okay hook the red gang up period so if you are interested in laser hair removal today i did my underarms y'all my underarms do not hurt at all the laser felt like <laughs> this is gonna sound so crazy but it literally felt like a gust of air on my armpit <laughs> like i was not feeling it i think that there was like one place like deep in the crevice on both sides where i was like oh that that you know i kind of felt that but it did not feel like painful it was like a little prick and y'all see like i filmed it in real time for y'all like i i'm pretty sure editing me will make sure that i leave the whole clip all the way through so y'all can see how fast it was like legitimately sis was done in five minutes she was great so i would a hundred percent recommend coming here they are amazing up spirited i mean the lobby was playing burner boy was playing whiz kid was giving the girlies vibes okay <laughs> and i loved it i had an amazing time um ashley if you're watching you are stunning you're great i'm so I, I just love black excellence period and actually um ashley i believe she's the owner i don't know if if i'm pretty sure she's the owner or the the what do you want to call it like the head in charge of semper laser here at mkt she owns a spa she's going to she's inviting me i think in like another week or two i'm gonna go to her spa and we're gonna check it out and we're gonna have a whole self-care day um yeah it's the vibes are gonna be vibing i'm excited i just love to support a black owned business a black woman owned business good night <laughs> you where's my car swipe it like and that's just the vibe i'm on period so anyway like i said if you do head over to semper mention desi they will take care of you even if you're at a different location just reference this video tell them that you really liked my experience and that you hope that you can get the same experience i'm sure you don't even have to hope because they're going to show up and show up for every single patient like or client i'm so used to saying patient with pa y'all know that but uh it's funny because before it was my turn i saw like two or three women before me leave out with smiles on their faces everybody being so personable have a good day you know just i love that i love the good energy like period so yeah that was my first laser hair removal experience 10 out of 10 recommend i am debating i'm really in the mood y'all know me y'all know me a starbucks iced brown sugar shaken espresso oat milk whatever is really on the tip of my taste buds right now but i am sitting here at mkt la la land is right in front of me i might as well go in here get me a mantra sit down and edit like i'm really i'm really turning into that girl <laughs> like y'all when i'm recording this it is january 30th today like baby you have been consistent and that's what pat yourself on the back babes you've been consistent i've been posting weekly vlogs granted yes they were pre-recorded but still to sit down and edit two plus hours of footage and then put it in an aesthetic way is not easy um i'm not trying to brag or boast but i'm just trying to give y'all the reality of doing this youtube stuff like you can you can put out non-edited stuff and people still might rock with you just because they rock with you but like i want to give you a pleasurable experience <laughs> no seriously like i want y'all to like when you turn me on your tv on your computer on your phone on your tablet on your ipad whatever it's like oh i get to escape for like an hour and a half like i know that sounds so corny but some of my favorite youtubers when i was at the lowest points of my life they really got me through when i was in quarantine 2020 when i was telling myself i wanted to do vlogs but i lived in a little bum ass hick town ratchet apartment um i mean I, I haven't even shared that that time in my life and maybe i will one day but it was a really low point for me. I had finished PA school and couldn't even practice as a PA because every testing center was closed down so I couldn't take my boards. Like, I was very unmotivated. I had no 
um, nobody there with me. Uh, everybody was in quarantine. My parents lived two and a half hours away. I did not have a partner. I didn't have any friends in the city I was living in. I, everybody had moved away. And I was just there. Out in the middle of nowhere. Toledo, Ohio. I'll never forget. And it would bring me joy to know one of my favorite, favorite creators uploaded on YouTube. And I got to just get like a glimpse into their life and see what was going on. Or just like feeling like I had, as corny as this sounds, a friend. Like, even though I had friends and I don't want to ever, ever for a second negate my friends that I have in real life. They live far away from me. So, it was like, I don't know. I, and then, even beyond it being like from a friend standpoint, like, in a, just an entertainment standpoint. Like, wow, other girls that are my age or other women, you know, other black women, other women of color, just women in general. Like, they're really out here living their best life. Like, I love that for them. And I, and I aspire to that. Like, and then to like see where my life is, you know, has transpired into just a few years later is just so crazy. God is so good. And I know I just got sidetracked, but I did want to just like rant off on that for a little bit because I was thinking about that this morning. Um, the word that, if y'all don't know, I use the YouVersion app. And um, the word for today, I want to read it to y'all. I actually screenshotted it and I posted it on my, um, what's it called? Story. It is... Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41.10 I had to share that. And, and basically the caption that I had put was, Today's word really resonates with me, just reflecting on how significantly my life has changed in the past six months. It was all faith. God protected me because I trusted him. I'm so grateful for his mercy. Woo. If you know my story, then you know. If you are scared or nervous to take that leap, don't be. He will see you through it, I promise. Happy Monday, gang. And I got a bunch of, like, you know how you can, like, heart stories and stuff. I always got a bunch of heart stories on my stories because y'all, well, I mean, we're family. We're gang at this point. But, like, that one in particular, I got a lot of stories. I got a lot of uh, people responding, saying, like, thank you. I needed that. Like, thank you so much. Have, have a great week. Like, you're so motivational. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know... One thing with me leaning back into my faith as of, you know, the last six plus months, I really live to spread the word of Jesus. Like, I know that some people have a uh, biased feeling about religion, about God, about Jesus, about, you know, all that. I'm never going to be the one to be pushy because honestly, I feel like that kind of put me in a, I don't want to say a bad spot, but just like a, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had a very good understanding about God, about the Bible, because church was almost kind of like forced. It was almost kind of like, I just didn't feel truly like I understood when I was growing up. One thing I'm so grateful for is having the parents that I have and having the grandmother, Mary, so rest in peace, that I had on my mom's side. They just always told my brother and I to be prayerful and, you know, to, to believe that there's a higher power than us, but just to be spiritual. Now that I have really, you know, had a full circle moment with my life and in the last six plus months, like I've already said, I lean back more into my faith. Like, I really do feel the impact of the word. I really do feel the impact of God and just seeing the miracles that he has made happen for not just me, my family, my brother, like indescribable feeling. And as long as I live, I will continue to share the word of Jesus Christ. Um, you are not alone. You are loved. He will never leave you alone. As long as you walk in his light, he will always be there for you. Even if you don't walk in his light, even if you are against him, he will always love you and there will always be room for you. <laughs> I feel, I get so emotional when I think about it because 
I don't think y'all really understand some moments, some some battles that I've really fought in my life. Like, God is just so good. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And no, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> but anyhow, how do we get here? How do we get here? God is so good. It is 10.59. So it's 11 a.m. I have already had a little bit of breakfast. I had a little something, something to eat. And I am sitting in front of La La Land. I think I want to go in there because I want to edit. I want to get a matcha. I want to edit. I want to just be that girl, you know? Uh, that's how I started on this conversation. God, my brain runs at a million miles a minute. Mm. I can't get over my skin. Ignore this dark ass. This was a pimple that never rose to the skin. It was weird. It was a weird situation. And then, I don't know. But I remember how I got on this conversation. I feel like I'm really stepping in, into that girl. I'm, I'm stepping in, into who I need to be. Y'all, sub check. It is January 30th. We have one more day of January tomorrow, and it'll be February 1st. I am currently at 5,126 subscribers. How exciting. I am halfway at a pretty decent milestone, in my opinion, for somebody who just started taking YouTube serious. Um, you know, recently, and I'm just so proud of myself. I'm just so proud of myself, and here I am. I don't have another, I like to get a vlog out like every seven to ten days, so once a week. Um, sometimes it'll fall more on the seven, or sorry, yeah, somewhere around there. It, sometimes it'll fall early in the week, sometimes it'll fall later in the week. It just depends, but I have today tomorrow the day after and the day after off so four days in a row off and i'm just like you know what i can edit a little bit every day and i could really bang out another vlog or two and then just have them you know stacked my repertoire <laughs> on my youtube studio and then what i really want to get to the point of doing is every time i do a weekly vlog every night just edit that day's worth of a vlog so that come upload day or come the day before upload I'm ready and I don't have to stress myself and sit in front of two and a half hours of work don't get me wrong I kind of do like doing that just because I can just bust it out but it is very time consuming like for context two and a half hours of two and a half three hours of vlog footage to cram it down into an hour an hour 15 an hour 30 to add in music to add in subtitles to add in description bar links yes because y'all know i'm the queen of lincoln all that that will take you a full day damn near maybe even more it just depends on what you got going on and how much time out of the day that you really dedicate to it but like it, it takes a minute so i'm just like you know what that's what get ahead of the get ahead of the game get back on your ish i really could bang out this vlog if i if i focus for the next couple hours i can bang out this vlog uh, do like a solid two and a half, three hours now here at La La Land. Have my lunch at Sweet Green, which is right next door, period. And then go home, change, go to the gym. And then, you know, I'm going to wash my hair because I want to film some content tomorrow and for the rest of the week. I could really do that and then finish up the vlog tomorrow. And that's in two days, basically, knock out a vlog. And then Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, knock out another vlog. And then I'll be caught up to present day. It's just, yeah, that's the plan. That's what we finna do. I got a strawberry matcha. I've had it before, but I got it cold the first time. No, 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 I got it warm the first time. But this time it's cold, so... Let's see what it's giving. Ooh. It's good. It's the strawberry seals. Matcha? Bum. I just got home. La La Land was nice. The matcha was phenomenal. I don't even know if y'all could hear me. 
<laughs> when I was in there. But it's funny because La La Land is located next to a gym that one, like a guy that I had like uh, talked to for a brief second, he's like the, I think, regional or general manager of. Um, and I was like, <laughs> I'm like, do I stop it and say hi? I didn't. <laughs> I feel like it would have been a little, um, yeah. But anyway, I don't know why I told y'all that. I just, it was, it was funny. I was just like on my way home, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, I, maybe I should have said hi, but I didn't. I don't know. I just didn't want to have to like get into a whole thing of explanations. Okay. Anyhow, so I am war I just warmed some meal prep up. Y'all, y'all already know how I'm coming. I already been talking to y'all about this. Uh, this is Chef Maricela. As always, y'all don't even have to ask me. Everything that I talk about, everything that I show y'all is always going to be linked down below. If it's not linked down below, it's either no longer sold, no longer created, or I just forgot. Just comment down below and I will let you, I will either tell you that, hey babes, this isn't made anymore, or I will tell you, um, I will include the link because I just forgot. I'm usually pretty good about linking everything. Let me grab a spoon. So this is what it's giving. Oh, we uh, Asian beef, broccoli, and then like cauliflower rice, cauliflower fried rice. I had this meal, I think two nights ago. Phenomenal. So y'all, I'm about to eat my meal prep like a good girl. I was tempted to get sweet green and then I said it up. So what do you pay for your meal prep for? And yeah, y'all, even though I work with her, I still pay for them. She gives me a discount, but I still pay for them. So it's like, mm -mm, we ain't wasting good food. I do because it's good. Mm -hmm. The thing that I love about her food, <laughs> y'all, I promise you, the girl's not paying me for this. She's not paying me. I feel like every vlog I talk about her food, but it just so happens that that's what I eat pretty much 80% of the time, but it's so nutritious. Like, I don't know if y'all peeped, the rice is cauliflower rice. Fried rice, but like cauliflower. Then she has some veggies, some broccoli, and then the beef. I didn't have to add no salt, pepper, hot sauce, nothing. It's good. I'm about to watch semi's vlog. I don't know who. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I'm going to watch my girl Chelsea. Chelsea Janae. What she is funny. Like, Genesis. I love me some Chelsea. So I'm about to watch her new vlog. And I'll check in with y'all later. Let's see. My problem is... <laughs> I'm going to eat. And I'm gonna lay on my couch and I'm gonna get comfy and then I'm gonna just decide I don't wanna participate the rest of the day. So irresponsible. No, I'm joking. I'm getting up. It's 4 12 right now. It's 4 12. I'm about to go to the UPS. Okay, no, I'm about to pack my gym bag. I'm gonna pack my pre workout. I'm gonna pack my water bottle. I'm going to. Pack. No, I'm going to go to UPS. We're gonna return um, that one mic that I like bought before I, I was supposed to go to Pilates. I'm just gonna give in and, and buy the $200 road mic. Like, mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sacrifice quality because I'm being cheap. Period. So. I'm gonna return that to Amazon and then we're gonna go to the Nike store. There are two pairs of shoes that I wanna get for the gym. One of the Nike Metcon 4s, one are the um, Nike Blazers. I want the high top Nike Blazers in white and I want the Nike Metcon 4s in black because I already have one pair of low top shoes in white and one pair of high top shoes in black. So I want to do the opposite. So that's what we're going to do today. Going to put that on my business card because period. 
and then we're gonna go to the gym because the gym is like right across from Nike. So. Oh, okay. I just got a little email from YouTube saying you hit 5,000 subscribers, but their emails be delayed. I already been hit 5,000 subscribers like a couple days ago, but that's so exciting. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. Let me get my behind up. I actually, what am I saying? Before all of this, I need to go pick up my meal prep because it needs to be put in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. So let me go do that. Let me text her and say I'm on my way. You guys will see me later tonight at the crib because all that type of stuff is just boring. I don't really feel like you like, I'm going to do that now. Maybe I'll record a little bit at the gym. Um, my laser, by the way, pits look good. But they said that I shouldn't do any excessive sweating today. So I think I'm just going to hit back. Wait, is that what I hit last? No, I hit glutes last. No, yeah, no. Mm -mm. It's a glute thing. It's Monday. Monday is glute day. Tomorrow will be back, especially because I'm going to wash my hair tonight. So tomorrow, I really don't want my hair to sweat. Today, if it sweats, that's perfect because I'm going to wash it when I get home. That's what we're going to do. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. That's how my brain operates. Yeah, everything I already said I'm going to do, I'm going to still do. But... What I'm going to do is I will check in with y'all when I get in, get back from the gym, I think. Maybe I'll montage everything and then come talk to y'all when I get back to the gym. I haven't decided. I'll bring up. <sighs> Just in case. But yeah. So let's get the rest of the day started. I don't know why I'm getting tired. Oh, I know why, because I didn't have my, my daily dose of espresso. <laughs> I actually, you know what I'm about to take? I'm about to take one of those little um, beets. I'm going to show y'all. These are good. I had a sponsorship with Walmart, and this is one of the products, and, like, these are actually oh, good. Pick this up, because we're not going to be trifling. You thought I was feeling you? That so much. These. Total Beats. These are so good. Oh my god, my nipples are nippling. Is am I the only woman that has like like her nipples just be nippling? Like it's so embarrassing to me. I be having to like rub them down, but it's like I'm just I don't feel like wearing a bra. Like I shouldn't have to suffer. Should she suffer? <laughs> I think she should suffer. my head i am a walking tiktok i promise you they look like this and you just have one and it gives you natural energy so it says healthy energy and antioxidants boost heart healthy energy so it has nitrates in it it's good for your heart and it is gives you energy so looks like that i thought i was feeling you how much? I don't know why. No, I do know why because I don't care what anybody says. Be a little hater, that's fine. I know that the little girl ain't talking about much, but I spice box. Her latest hits are hitting. Okay, why? Like, Hold on. Y'all not gonna act like this is not a bop. And I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't wanna hear not a damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. I need help. I need help. Who am I feeling like? Like clear skin will just make you start acting up, start talking crazy, start getting a buck wild. Like, okay, I gotta go. So I just got back from picking up my food. 
I have to get up so early in the morning, y'all, because I have to take my car to the shop again. Um, not the shop, sorry. It's really just to get maintenance. But I went a few days ago and basically everything that I wanted to happen could not happen in that one sitting because I needed my car back in the next couple hours. So I'm going to drop it off at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. And then I'm going to come back home and it's fine because I want to get up. I want to have a full day of content tomorrow. So that's cool. Um, I will, I will be carless, but the cool thing is they have like a ride share or sh I don't even know what you want to call it, but a service where if you live within a certain mile radius of the dealership, they will drop you off at home and then pick you back up when your car is ready. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just be at home. I'm going to probably edit. Not even probably. I'm going to edit. I'm going to answer some emails. I'm going to make some posts and film some content. It's going to be a content day. Then I should get my car back sometime. She said um, around like four or five. I will be ready for the gym. Like I'm going to bring my gym stuff when they come pick me up and then go from the dealership to the gym tomorrow. And then that'll be tomorrow's day. Very boring. You guys probably won't see much of me tomorrow. Wednesday will be a very, um, I'm not going to say eventful by any means. Y'all, you already know how these vlogs is coming. Okay. <laughs> but Wednesday will be a more we're doing things day. I plan to have a very like balanced out day. Obviously the gym will be involved or some type of movement will be involved. Even if we just go and stretch and get in the sauna or the whirlpool. We'll do that Wednesday. We are going to um, do some content. We're going to edit. I think I want to go to like a new coffee shop or something. And then maybe like we'll just like go to, I don't want to say dinner. Maybe we'll just get like a nice little like treat. Just like a little self-care moment. One of you lovely subscribers commented recently and said basically that you guys really enjoyed um, this video. I will have a card on the screen. It was basically like a day in my life and I just like went, I took you guys shopping with me. I um, took myself to dinner. I, I showed you some products that I had picked up. It was just a really cute day in my life with me, myself and I. And that just made me just like, she was just like, I like like the solo content. Like she loved my solo vacation. And it just made me think like outside of vacationing, I can really show y'all like what I do. Obviously I do that anyway, vlogging, but like just like a dedicated like me day, like self care, all of that. So I think I want to do that on Thursday. I don't, I want it to be a whole separate video. So I might just do a little bit of like montage clips for you guys on this vlog, but yeah. I think that that'll be a good video, a very cute video. So a little, we'll start a little series. Like, what do we want to call that series? Comment down below what I should call it, what I should name, like my solo activities. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. It got to be something cool, clever, witty, you know, all that. So, and I'm going to put this stuff away. And I will see y'all in a second. What you know about living on the top? Penthouse suits looking down on the ops. Took a for a test drive, left them on the lot. Time is money, so I spent it on the watch. Hold on, low T showing through the white teeth. You can see the thong busting on my tight knee. Okay, rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me. Got another shorty, she ain't nothing like me. Yeah, about to catch another fight. Apple bottom, make him wanna bite. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, don't know that no. If you broke, then you gotta let him go. You could have anybody, any money go. Cause when you a boss, you could do what you want. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Do y'all notice anything different? 
it's the red interior for me <laughs> y'all i have had a morning first off ignore y'all me being a little off center i hope it doesn't start focusing on that so i will straighten it up a little bit but i have had the longest morning of my life okay basically <laughs> I went to get my car service. I think I told y'all I was going to drop it off today, early morning. Y'all, I do not know how people wake up at 6.30 in the morning. Like, I do, but I don't. I Honestly, if I would have gone to bed on time, it would not have been that bad. But, like, I was struggling this morning. So, I got up at 6.30 um, and went to um, drop off my car. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, a little $300 maintenance fee maybe you know like might have to change like the back brake pads or something like very much so max six hundred dollars baby why why did they tell me that my total was going to be over two thousand dollars today the way that like i'm supposed to go to europe in march like i don't even want to go anymore i don't want to go because it's like you put money aside for certain things in your life and yes i have a short-term savings like i have the money but it's like did i want that money to go to this no i did not i did not we have a lot of things going on this year like my lease is already about to be up which is so crazy like i've really lived in houston texas for six months so i have six more months on my lease which in theory sounds like oh okay that's a lot of time it's really not you really need to have your plan at least two months prior to when it's up so that you know exactly what you're doing you have all your funds situated all that at least two months in my opinion your girl might be in the house i just I, I want to get a truck like there's just a lot of things on my mind and by the grace of God I have been put in a fortunate position to be able to do these things but it's like when when dumb ass when dumb ass when because YouTube not playing with the curse then when dumb stuff like this happens it really grinds my gears no pun intended like I hate car stuff like I really can't wait till my husband can just be like don't worry baby i got you let me let me go make let me go service the car or or he can service it himself whoo lord oh i got i got a handyman on my on my list I already god knows my list i need me a nice strong scorpio man because it's seeming like the scorpio men are the men the manly men not these leaders. but anyhow i'm getting off track so it was like twenty three hundred dollars or something does sis have the money? Yes. Does sis want to give the money? No. Also, um, half of that, so basically like $1,500 of that total, no, nah, like, but yeah, $1,300 of that total is going towards them taking off the remote start that Best Buy, goofy butt, put in my car that dis, um, disarmed all the keys. So like when you get in my car, Yes, I do not have a push to start, babes. It's a 2017, not too much on me. When you get in my car and you put it in the ignition and you turn it, my keys don't work. Like, you can't just start the car like a regular car. You have to use the remote start to start the car. In a normal sense, you know, living up in the Midwest where it snows and stuff, that's ideal. Okay, who cares if you can't start it? Your majority of the time, we're going to need it to be remote started anyway, you know, whether it's for the heat, like we mostly need in the Midwest, or if you just want your car to be cool, like on a really hot day, cool. But it got it gets to the point where when you're going out to eat at all these nice restaurants, when you, I hope it's focusing on me, yeah, it is. When you're going out to eat at all these nice restaurants, when you are, you know, going to these events and they are needing to valet your car, now you're looking goofy having to explain to a man that has all of two brain cells in his head how to remote start a car. I know that was mean. That was kind of mean. Not too much on the, on the valet man. <laughs> but it's just, it's very aggy, like now I got, okay hold the fourth button down until it buzzes okay once it buzzes now you put the key in the ignition and you turn it to on you don't have to crank it all the way to start because the car's already on i just explain it to you very easily it's not difficult 
these men are doing it whole time they have their foot on the brake baby baby if you remote start a car you ain't turn put your foot on the brake what does it do it cuts the car off right okay so why would you think that you could do that while your foot is on the brake like truly it's not their problem it's my problem and it's very irritating so like I wanted to get my remote start taken off but um they said in order for them to take the whole to take the remote start off put it um like rewire the computer of the car and put the keys back in action is like twelve thirteen hundred dollars I was on the phone with my father and he said absolutely not he was like baby don't worry when I come down to Houston in a couple months we will take care of it and that's on period because one thing my daddy gonna do he gonna take care of it he's gonna take care of it <laughs> Gosh. like I know I, I, I'm queen of getting sidetracked but just momentarily one thing about it we can do all this all this you know these TED Talks and these think pieces and this and that. But gender roles exist for a reason. I am very firm in that. Now, I'm not saying you got to gender roll it all the way, and you know, to infinity to the point that, oh, you telling your wife, go make me a sandwich, like, or, you know, disrespecting her or you're expecting your man to do every living thing for you as he should. Now, let me stop. But I feel like, you know, like when it comes to, Men, they should know how to use their hands. They should know how to build things. They should know how to take things apart and put them together. Like, I just feel like that's, like, God literally created men to be bigger, stronger, faster for that reason, right? Women, we are more dainty. We are more soft. We, we are more nurturing. We have a more nurturing aura about us and so yes some things do fall in line with that you know homemaking and taking care of children and I'm not saying a man cannot take care of a child hear me clearly okay what I'm saying is men or women will have that natural feminine aura that they will you know take care of those certain things and I think men should emphasis on should because the way these these new age niggas is built I, I don't know but they should have a masculine aura about them where they can you know problem solve and where they can build things and they are crafty and they are strong and they are protectors like mm, I love I love me a strong provide and protect man period I say this to say one thing about my daddy he gonna take care of it okay one thing about my mom, if she needs help, my daddy gonna take care of it, okay? One thing about me and my brother, if we need help, my daddy gonna take care of it, okay? And I love that for us, and I love that for him, like, he's such a man, like, I just love that. And so, how did I get here? <laughs> Child, I'm really ranting through the pain. I'm really just ranting through the pain because I can't believe I even still... So, we're not gonna do the remote start business, I'm just gonna have to keep the remote start on. Anyway, I'm I'm going to get a new car regardless. I don't know if I should sell this one or if I should just throw it. They need to change all four rotors in my car and the brake pads because the only way that you can get to the rotors, I believe, is through the brake pads. Child, I am not a mechanic. Please do not correct me in the comments because I don't care. <sighs> that alone for all four is supposed to... Okay, so they quoted me $729 right i was like okay cool daddy i got it no worries like 729 plus my little like 300 dollars maintenance fee and to change like my filters and my car all that came out to like a grand and some change okay no problem i got it i, I you know whatever then they get to talk about the 1500 dollars. i was like okay my daddy was like we will put that on pause we'll take care of that another time like i'm gonna come down to houston soon we will find you somebody else we'll, we'll, it'll be taken care of okay no problem then homegirl calls me back from the dealership talking about some you're gonna hate me baby don't leave with that because now it's giving i'm gonna hate you she was like they quoted you the wrong price they quoted you for only two tires or two two brake pads two rotors 
so double that price so now instead of 729 it's 1450 plus the 300 dollar maintenance fee so so you want me to come out of pocket eighteen hundred dollars because they didn't even add the tax on there and you know in taxes they be tax in Texas they be taxing at the wazoo so you want me to spend eight anywhere between 18 1850 when I came in here expecting to spend nothing more than six hundred dollars respectfully go to hell so my dad was very upset and um, I had my dad on three-way with with old girl because what you're not gonna do is hustle me because I'm a woman and so then she was like you know what I am so sorry this is their mess up because my dad was like basically um, I'm confused on why I have to pay more money because of the uh, because of your guys' uh, incompetence I wanted to tell him to stop but at that point I was so far blown I didn't even care what he was saying on the phone and she was like sir you're exactly right this is our mistake we are incompetent like you know and so long story short Toyota Miss Star I I'm gonna shout, out, shout her out because she's doing her job and she's doing it damn good um, she cut me a deal and they are doing everything for $900 and then plus you know the 300 or I think it was like 250 or $300 for the maintenance fee so still not the most ideal situation but the best ideal situation so that I can get my brakes taken care of I can leave out of there with everything that I needed to get done done outside of the remote start that's that's another beast for another day I'm not tripping about it so yeah she cut me a deal and they put me in this nice ass rental for free this is a 2021 Toyota Camry nice as hell or sorry what am i saying 2021 this is 2022 or 2023 it's one of the two child they even got the thing where you put your phone in the dash and it starts charging hold on let, let me let me give y'all a little car tour car tour so very nice very nice very nice the interior is interioring okay like no it's really dead ass so nice so this thing right here like charges your phone like watch and it's push to start <laughs> yeah because what you thought watch it's charging and you, you see how the car just connect like um but yeah it's very nice like the the tires are black on black let me zoom out or the rims, whatever you want to call them. They are black on black. Very nice. Uh, I try to put this steering wheel down. This is as low as it'll go. Sorry, it's in the way. But yeah, so. I am irritated, but happy at least that that stuff will get handled. I just pulled to Trader Joe's anyway. I'm not going to take y'all in there. Y'all know how Trader Joe's folks be. So I'm just going to run in, run out, because I need to head home. I have so much filming to do. It's already 1 o'clock. I'm irritated. Like, I did not expect the day to go like this. It's fine, because it's fine. But it's just still annoying, you know? Like, at this point, I don't even think I'm going to make my post that I was going to make today. I was going to make a what I eat in a day today, but I'll probably just end up making that tomorrow, because it's like the day kind of got away from me so yeah i'll probably just film that tomorrow and post it tomorrow i gotta figure out what i'm gonna post today though because i need to make a post like girl you've been mia for like a week like that's not good so anyway all right y'all well i just wanted to update you on this mess i don't know if i'll see you again today but yeah i'll probably see you tomorrow so y'all update i'm home i've been home pretty much all day since y'all saw me earlier the dealership called me and they said that i can keep the car overnight um and come pick up my car in the morning which that's fine by me so and i think i already told y'all it's free but i finally went live with that live pure sponsorship the girlies were like oh okay period so um they didn't pay for a youtube inclusion or anything like that but like genuinely when brands f with me i f with them you know what i'm saying and i know some people might be like oh if they not paying i ain't giving free and that's cool and that's you but for me like 
this stuff is about building genuine connections, genuine brand relationships, all that networking, showing love back to brands that show you love will take you so far. Um, so anyway, that's why I'm talking about them here on YouTube. Y'all, these I stay with. Like, I think I already talked about them before. So they shipped them to me, I think, in the beginning of this. Or yeah, like um, when I first got home, which if y'all have been here for a while, y'all know, even though it's a weekly vlog, I would typically vlog about 10 to 12 days because of the fact that I work. You know, and I can't vlog on the days that I work because I work 12 hour shifts and that's the whole day and it's gone. And then when I get up, I'm tired and I don't want to pick up a camp. So I typically try to vlog on the days that I have off. So that's why my vlogs, even though I will show y'all about six or seven days, it's really filmed over the course of two days. Or sorry, over the course of two weeks. I hope that makes sense. Anyhow, so I started trying these uh, hydration packets. They have energy packets and they have post-workout packets. I started trying them when I first got back that very next morning. So I got back on Monday. I started trying them Tuesday. For context, today is the following Tuesday. I've been trying them for a week. When I tell y'all my skin the filter's not even on me right now it like it'll pop off when you're super super close my skin <laughs> oh like my skin is just so clear it's so plump it's so hydrated like i'm just i'm obsessed i am genuinely thoroughly impressed i'm a I want to, um, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know where you're here from, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, um, my fitness page, whatever, but I do have a separate fitness YouTube that I think I want to just dedicate to only workouts, workout related um, hauls, like self-care wellness routines, so hygiene, wellness what i eat in a day i think that i'm gonna do all of those routines over there and i'm gonna keep this page strictly vlogs travel fashion beauty and i love that i like it i like it you guys have two separate pages and two pages will mean double the content keep that in mind okay before y'all get to being like why don't you just keep it on one page also i think i mentioned this before it is a huge uh business move to do that basically you have the chance to increase your revenue times two when you have two separate accounts for any platform basically so besides the point i am going to show y'all though even though i will start filming i keep telling myself i'm going to start i'm going to start i'm going to start but baby steps like we're finally consistent on this channel i want to get this channel down pat 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 to one of my huge goals come quarter two by quarter two so beginning of april I should start pumping out videos on the other channel. Don't hold me to it. Actually, hold me to it. Hold me to it so that I can really push through for the girlies. But I do want to show y'all one of the hydration drinks that I've been loving. And this is not, I am not being paid to say this. Like I told y'all, I already fulfilled my Instagram sponsorship for this brand. I have been drinking this. It is so good. So, 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 so good. So I'm going to put y'all on. And it's funny because, okay, this is TMI, but we're all girls here for the most part. Men, you can just skip forward on this part that I'm about to talk about. So I get a glass about this big. You can go bigger if you want like a, a lot, like a, a big consistency, but I get a glass about this big and I'm gonna fill it up with water. Voila. Okay, so put y'all down and sorry for the nips like my i already told y'all my nips just be nippling i don't understand why we're all human here okay so for the gut health we have the alani greens for the skin and for the hydration we have the live pure orange range you can go with any of the flavors but let me tell you orange and for more gi and gu genital urinary health we go in with the slippery elm 
caution. I'm gonna tell y'all a little funny story while I get to mixing, moving and grooving with my stuff here. I <laughs> have taken Slippery Elm in the past. And when I say in the past, I would say when I first moved here, I started taking it. I took a break when I started getting my lashes, or my uh, brows done. I stopped taking pretty much all supplements because um, if you know, you know, basically when they cut into your skin, when they pu puncture your skin, they are, um, you, you want limited cell turnover because you want the pigment, if you're somebody like me that was going for darker brows, you want the pigment to stay longer. So I, you don't want to be putting on like any retinols or any vitamin C and I typically would take vitamin C every day. So PS, um, you can either use the orange liquid hydrate, uh, bleh, you can either use the orange live pure packet or like an orange like a vitamin c like emergency or whatever um it'll give you the same taste result but i like to use these because i need that extra hydration okay especially in the morning y'all are gonna laugh at me so tell me why if you've heard about the effects of slippery elm oh child and i almost forgot Ugh, goofy girl also, you're going to need your liquid chlorophyll. I will link all the stuff down below, by the way. I forgot that with the side effects of Slippery Elm are. Shad, I thought something was wrong with me. I kept randomly thinking I was starting my period in the middle of the day. I felt like I needed to change my underwear a couple times. Like, girl... Girl forgot that she was taking slippery down. Like, so uh, yeah, I just recently picked it back up like the last two weeks, and that joint works. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm really not trying to be nasty. Like before, before y'all come, but I'm just saying what the girlies be talking about. They they're not lying. They're not lying. So I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna mix this up. It looked nasty, it looked trifling, but I promise you, it tastes good. And it, please ignore me, just put my mouth on that thing. It's me, myself, and I in this house. Okay, bottoms up. Now, If you're not a girly that likes green juice, green, earthy, this is not by any means given earthy in my opinion, but you're not going to be drinking no sugary smoothie king smoothie. I'm going to repeat myself. This does not taste like a sugar packed drink from smoothie king. It does not. It tastes good in my opinion, and it's going to give you all of the things gut health vaginal health <clears throat> skin skin hydration body hydration all those things that you need is gonna it's gonna give i just drink a little bit so that when i mix it it's not completely trying to skip about the, the drink but it's pretty much mixed this little hidden gem like, I can't make this up. Y'all are seeing the skin, right? Let me get close so there's no filter. Yes, of course. We're all going to have texture. This is real skin, so I don't want to hear it. The skin is going to... I want to hear it. Nobody's talking. You guys are all behind the camera like, Yes, queen! Yes, queen! I'm over here like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> mm. I'm going to enjoy this. On a couch. It's 7.30 right now. I am in the mood to go edit. Who knows, I might just stay here and edit, but I am in the mood to just kind of get out of the house, put my headphones on and just like jam in public and like edit. Like, I don't know, I just be working real hard when I know like I have to leave versus in my house I'll be BSing, so yeah. And then also I like when I can like leave and edit like in a public space and then know that when I get, come home, I'm done with work. I get to put a movie on, a show on, YouTube on, eat my dinner, and then relax. 
So I think I'm going to go to Starbucks until like 1030 and then come home and just unwind. Okay. So cheers. Cheers to a juicy pum pum. <laughs> Good night. What she said? What she said? Oh, no. You can't trust in me. As y'all can see, I'm back in Miss Crane, and um, we are, it is already noon, like, ugh! I hate when I get up early, but I feel like I didn't accomplish anything today. Well, I kind of did. I cleaned my, um, cleaned my house up, I ran some laundry, I was up at like 5 a.m. this morning, I could not go back to sleep, because I, I fell asleep early. And my body has a good five to six hours. And then she's like, I'm up. <laughs> Let's go. So I just got up and started doing some busy work around the house. I also put some clothes on my hanging rack because I want to film some content, some reels, um, shorts for YouTube and TikToks and YouTube videos. Like your girl is ready to film. So I am actually en route to go get a car wash because I feel like, you know, new new rotors, new brakes, she needs to be clean. <laughs> like, girl, not you waited all these months to get a car wash. That's embarrassing, but it's the reality. I just, when it comes to cars, like, it's not, it's not up to me to be maintaining them. And truly, honestly, I need to start paying somebody to just come to my place and wash it for me so I don't have to do this. But... It's okay, we're gonna handle it today. So, I'm heading to a car wash, and then we are going to... Is this light broken? Is this light broken? Like, I, they have gone past, like, two times now, not let me go. Light gotta be broken. I'm gonna go on this red light. Because what's going on? No, they got cameras. I can't even do that. Is, are cameras legal in Texas? Because they're not legal in Ohio, even though they still be billing you. Like, child, I'm not paying. Like, keep keep sending them to my house. I'm not paying. But, um... No. I'm about to freaking get pissed. This light better turn. Like... Yo! What is going? It's not even that serious, but I'm just irritated right now. Like, I am just tired. Like, I just spent $1,100 <laughs> and got nothing from it but new freaking brakes and rotors. Like, I don't care. I don't even care. Like, that's what stop complaining. First world problems. First world problems. So. This light gotta be broken. How many times am I gonna say that? Anyway, um, I wanna film some content today and tomorrow. Cause I have off both days. This is ridiculous. It's broken. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going. I don't even care. Like, I literally just, I just went. I just blew a red light, and I did not care. Because I have i was literally sitting at that light. Like, it, it's broken, and they're still sitting there. Like, you're going to be sitting there for minutes, sweets. This is what y'all want to watch? This is what y'all want to see me complain? <laughs> oh, is this a self-wash? Child, I want to go through a washing machine. Oh Lord. See, this is why. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Hello. Um, is this a self wash or you guys wash for me? I'm sorry? Is, that a, is this like a self wash or you guys wash for me? We do it for you, but if you want to go to you want to go to a self serve wash? No, I don't. No. Oh, we do it for you over here. You want <laughs> inside and out? Yeah. Alright. If you don't mind back from me all the way, get interior and I'll show where we are right now. Okay? okay, wait, how much is it? So those are gonna be twenty eight to forty, just depending on what package you want to get. Twenty eight to forty 28. for both? Yeah, 28 to 4, just depending on which one you get. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I'll show you right now. Just back for me, get into here. I got you. Okay, thank you. 
he, he ain't saying nothing but a word. He ain't saying nothing but a word. Backing that ass up immediately. What did he say? I should back up and then go where? I don't even know where he wanted me to. I, see, that's my problem. I be hearing, but I don't listen. Like, that's what. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's showing me where I need to go. Child, this is embarrassing. I don't ever listen. That's my problem. I used to get in trouble for that when I was a kid. I don't listen. Like, pay attention, babes. Okay. For the inside, would be the vacuum, the windows, dust under the dash, the exterior tile dry. The most popular one is going to be our platinum. It's going to be our platinum so You get the wax for the paint, the wall polish for the rims. Okay. And if you do get the platinum, you're also going to get the dash conditioner on your whole dashboard for EM40, which is the best one that we do offer. And that's both inside and out? Inside and out, yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you trying to hustle me right now? What's that? Are you trying to hustle me right now? What's no. the what's the catch? Like what why is it only a four dollar difference? Like so what does this not include? I'll tell you right now. So the difference these two is gonna be the chemicals and the conditioner. So these two be the so uh, these two would be the platinum seal, the wood polish for the rims and also the conditioner. I mean for the number one, you still get the wax. It's a good wash inside and out for the 36 if you don't want to get everything done to vehicle. It's fine. I might as well just go right. $4 more. I'll get the 40 Okay, That's all right. fine. All right. Um, you guys, are are you washing it? We do everything. Well, not me, but I mean. Oh, you're not going to? Yeah. Make sure they take care of me, okay? Oh, gotcha. she's like real dirty. Gotcha. All right. Also, you don't want to get the membership on the vehicle today for $3 more? What's the membership? So with the membership, you can bring the vehicle in as much as you want for the outside, right? Oh. And every time you want to get the inside, you only pay the extra 10 which is not a bad deal if you're only getting the inside once or twice a month. But for the outside, it is truly unlimited. You're bringing in as much as you want for the outside. And every time you want to get the inside, you only pay that extra Okay. I'm going to just see how you guys do today. And then if I like it, then maybe I'll do membership. Sounds good. Okay. Any um, scent? We got lemon, cherry, jasmine, vanilla, or new Ooh, I'll do vanilla. Vanilla, okay. Is that good or is it not? Vanilla is kind of good. A lot of people get vanilla, new part of jazz, don't you? Okay, I'll get vanilla. You want to get those rubber mats done here or just vacuum? The, yeah, I need them done. I mean, those They're things, so they'll be extra. Dirty. It's not that much. To do all four is actually four dollars charge. I mean, what we do, we brush it down with soap and water and then we pressure wash it. What happened to $40? No, I'm kidding. It's yeah, fine. It's fine? You, I'll do it. All right. She needs them. You want to zip or no? You want to wait with the vehicle? Please? I will wait. All right. Because I got to see if y'all right. really about what y'all talking about. Gotcha. All right. That'll be 44 once right now. Yeah. Do you mind you pull up for me, please? Sure. Y'all, this car is so clean. I mean, look at the mats. What? Look at the seats. Look, look, what? What? The windshield. Clean. Crystal clean. I am very impressed. Very impressed. No complaints whatsoever. They did a phenomenal job. Mr. Car Wash, like M-I-S-T-E-R spelled all the way out. Um, they did a phenomenal job.
So I had a day today. I had to, um, as y'all saw, I made that like really amazing breakfast. So good. I'm going to put that tutorial probably on my other page as like a healthy breakfast idea. And on my Instagram, like bomb fire. I made me a nice little ciabatta avocado toast with some tomato and red onion in there. I actually got the guacamole from um, Whole Foods and it was the spicy one and it was good. It was flavorful. I've never just like outright tried like guac, like pre-made guac. I always make it, but I was just kind of like, I didn't feel like cutting open the avocado today. I didn't feel like having to like mix anything together. So I was like, let me just buy it. It was phenomenal. Like, I would get the pre-made guac from Whole Foods. Again, 100% get the spicy version if you like spicy food. It's, it was not spicy by any means. I just think it adds flavor. So I had that. I had beef bacon. Not pork bacon. Beef bacon. That might have been actually the first time I've ever had beef bacon. It was so good. And then I also had one over medium on the runnier side. Over medium egg on top. Put some hot sauce on there, baby. Phenomenal. I'm gonna make it on my fitness channel, I think, like a healthy breakfast idea. Um, and I will make it into a reel for Instagram, but yeah. Woo, that was so good. Anyway, I also, if you didn't see with the parchment paper, I found a way, I will put the creator's name that I got this idea from on the screen, but um, she basically, she uh, showed us a way that she like packages and saves her bacon so that it doesn't spoil because you know when you live alone <laughs> basically you have to be very conscious of food going bad very quickly because it's only one person consuming it so I thought that it was a brilliant idea and now my bacon can be preserved for a lot longer but um anyway I honestly got into comfy clothes and I sat on my couch I edited I made it a post I made this what I eat in a day post. And if you're not following my fitness account, go follow it too. <laughs> and let me know that you came from YouTube. I will not um, play the sound so it doesn't get demonetized, but yeah. The reel came together pretty nicely. It was a nice little what I eat in a day. I featured some of Chef Marcel's meals. I featured the breakfast I made this morning. It was cute. Really cute. What I eat in a day. Go follow me on Instagram at the Desiree Fitway um, if you're not already. And go hype me up. Hype me up. Turn me up. <laughs> but after I edited and I posted that, I caught up with one of my girlfriends on the phone for a little bit. And then I just talk to my realtor because like I told you my lease is about to be up in six months which sounds like a lot but in theory it's really not um so we were talking about some things and then I just was chilling I'm about to go edit put the same clothes on that I had earlier back on and I'm about to go to a coffee shop and edit for the rest of the night very boring I know but I'm craving a coffee and I want to pump out another vlog I want to be consistent per 2023 year of consistency ignore that freaking smoke detector if it's one thing about a black house there's gonna be one smoke detector in the house that's going off it just happened today i don't know so i have to come get maintenance to go change that battery because lord knows i'm i can't get up there and do it so yeah all right i will see you guys tomorrow Hey y'all, so before I'm about to head to the gym, I just got ready. Let me show y'all what I got on actually. I did nothing today y'all, I just cleaned, did laundry, got my life together, um, cause I have work tomorrow. But anyway, so I just had my hair slipped into a little ponytail. This top is from Amazon. It was viral for a minute on TikTok. I love this top, it's very comfortable. Um, I like that it's like protects the girls and Honestly, it gives me, it doesn't really give me the, the biggest support, but I'm not jumping or anything. And I also don't have the biggest yitties. So. These leggings are very old. They're the camo leggings from Gymshark. I just like the dark green. Ignore that. 
uh, what's it called? Smoke detector. So ghetto. I think I'm going to wear these new shoes and I'm going to go try to pick up at the Nike store. Before I do that, I want to eat a little something, something. So I'm going to make me these, um, uh, you already know, the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. Um, honestly, people, some people like the chicken better. Some people like the, it all tastes the same to me in my personal opinion. I quite honestly can't taste the difference. Maybe I'm tripping, but, uh, they're just, they're both good. So I'm about to warm these up and I want to show y'all. Oh, get back in your spot. So they look like this. If you've never tried them before, I will put them back in their spots. Relax. Um, so they're very easy. Some, you can make them on a stove top. Child, that's doing a lot. All I do is <clears throat> take some scissors. I cut a little corner of the bag like that. So it has some air to like, you know, let the steam out. And then I just pop this in the microwave for two minutes. I normally, so I'm putting y'all on, putting y'all on. So this, I need to buy some more actually. I'm going to Target today too. Um, this stuff, the Melinda's Thai sweet chili sauce, I get it at Target. It's so good. I don't know where else it's sold. I just saw it one day and I was like, oh, let me try this bomb. I eat this with the uh, chicken wontons, the lime and cilantro chicken wontons from Trader Joe's. So good. But let me tell y'all. So y'all saw I was like picking up some stuff from Whole Foods yesterday and I picked up this chili crunch. Baby. If you like spicy, get you this chili crunch. Ugh, why is it acting like? I promise you I'm not that weak. I just had it open yesterday. It's weird because I'm right-handed, but I like to open stuff with my left hand. Okay. <laughs> not me checking on the food. <sighs> Ooh, I had already opened this, y'all. So don't think that like it's a fresh opening. Like that's why I'm really confused. Oh my gosh, dude! Like why? Why? I can tell. And that is driving me. I gotta shut this door because it's it's in my bedroom. holy cow this is not for real i just had it open yesterday They're... what it's oh so i made some chicken wontons yesterday and i put this on it for the first time i've never tried this before i never got a recommendation i just saw it at whole foods and i picked it up bomb and don't judge me for using plastic Mine's yours, but um, I can eat this by itself. I know that is so trifling, but I can really eat this by itself. Ooh, it's just so, so it says crunchy, smoky, and infused with just the right amount of heat. Chili crunch transforms all food into a flavor packed experience. The perfect partner for everything from meat, chicken, fish, and eggs to pizza, pasta, burgers, and tacos. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ingredients, non-GMO sunflower oil, onion, garlic, chili, salt. It's so good. It's, so I'm just mixing a little bit. Like y'all, y'all thought I was playing. Mm. I love the flavor, like, it's not even just because of spicy, like, you know how spice, like spices at the end of the day still taste like spices, like, this is flavorful, like, it's spicy, spicy and flavorful. Wow. Ooh. I'm so hungry, y'all. 
And I think I'm gonna go to Cobb after the gym because I wanna save my meal prep for the next three days because I'm working three days in a row. Mm hmm Yeah, okay. They're still super hot. Like I'm not gonna eat them right now, but this is what I do to prep my little tray. So I've never tried it with this crunch before. So it's gonna be a first time. Like my mouth is legit watering. I'm so hungry. Yum. Okay, cool. And then, boy, these are about to be spicy. Why is it spicy? Then I'm gonna take the sweet chili sauce and I'm going to Ooh, I know y'all's mouth is watering gotta be gotta be you're kidding mm -hmm. you heard it here first that's the concoction Try it out. Let me know how you like it. But I'm about to just sit down for not even 10 minutes. Eat this. Drink some water. And then head to the gym. Oh, no. I'm going to head to the Nike store first because I want to get these shoes. And then I'm going to head to the gym. So if I get to the Nike store, I might take y'all in. It depends how hectic it is. You already know how that goes. But um, if I don't, I will vlog when I get back home because I think I'm going to go to um, the gym and then go grab dinner and bring it back home and eat here and then wind down for work tomorrow. So either way, I will see y'all by the end of the night. Don't fret. Don't fret. Woo, okay, y'all, I am finally back home. I'll tell on the shoes. They did not have my eight and a half. They only had an eight, I think, and a nine. And I had an eight and a half. So I had to order them. So we did not get the shoes today. But when I do get them, you guys will see them probably in the next vlog. But anyway, went to the gym. I went to a different location. I went to the one out like in city center, like right next to the Nike store. And I like that one. It was one of like the old school style type of gyms. But I didn't mind it. There were a lot of people there too. I was there at like 8.30 and I was shocked at how many people were there. Cause I thought that I like missed the after work crowd, but apparently not. Anyway, I stopped and got some kava. Same thing that I got in the, like, I think two vlogs ago. And yeah, but before I close out this vlog, I did get a couple Amazon packages that I want to show y'all. I've not opened them, so let's open them up together. I think I know what this is. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so not everything came in, but it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Ooh, this quality though eats. So I got some seamless shorts from Amazon. I am like turning into an Amazon whore. <laughs> Oh, these look like they're about to eat. Look at how it's cinching the waist. Like, you can always tell it's going to eat because look at how it tapers off in like that. Yeah. And then there's like a little tiny butt scrunch in the back. Mm-hmm. These are going to look marvelous on my body. I will try this stuff on it next vlog or something because I'm dirty and I just want to shower and eat and then go to sleep. There's that. Next, I got... Ooh, I'm excited about this. I got a robe. <laughs> Ooh, damn, this is big. But anyway, I got one of those, you know, cotton or waffle knit robes. I'm going to throw this in the wash. 
first before I use it, but uh, I thought that that would be really nice just to add to my luxurious state. So thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all already know how I feel about you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Ray Gang. We are growing slow and steady and that's fine by me every single person that decides to subscribe it means the world to me i am extremely blessed to have you guys and i just appreciate it thank you if you made it this far in the video please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the video was let me know how you're feeling just say hi check in with me so i can communicate with y'all i can put a name to a face you know I don't think I mentioned it in this vlog, but don't forget that my Bali trip is live and will be live for the next, I'm going to say two mo month or two um, until it's officially closed, but it might close sooner if it completely sells out. But I want everybody to get a fair chance and I want to meet all of you girls, period. Okay, so check the description box for the link to my Bali trip. It's going to be July 25th through the 31st. Everything will be included outside of the flight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to meet you if you are signing up. Also, if you ever have any questions pertaining to the trip, feel free to either DM me on Instagram or even just leave a comment down below and I will answer everything. Yes, like I said, if you have not subscribed, girl, what are you doing? Join the gang. Okay, we are a big family over here. We would love to have you. Until next time, y'all, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.